Hello guys, in this video we're gonna do this nice logo. Okay, first let's create the brush. Get the circle tool or the ellipse tool and create a circle. And with the direct selection tool, click on the anchor here and push it holding shift to the right. And the other side, push it to the left. Visually they have to be equal at least. This looks fine and now select this one and go to brushes and just drag it inside and put art brush press ok and then ok and you can delete it now so now when you get the brush tool and you click on this make sure it's a very small stroke 0 0.1 maybe oh it's it turned out to one let's put it on 0 0.1 enter and you'll have this Okay, so let's go to the second step. Let's trace this elephant. Let's create a new layer. I'm gonna delete all the layers I had before. Create a new layer and zoom in. And with the pen tool, let's start creating this nice elephant. Okay, so after you're done with this, let's start creating the inside. So let's color this one with the eyedropper, mm, the darkest color. And now let's go to the second color. First let's click on this one and put the opacity low so you can see behind. And now create a new layer and get the pen tool again and let's create the details. Okay, when you're done with this, select this one, shift the one we did before and get the shape builder tool and hold up to get the minus sign and remove this and you will have only these lines. So we have to do the same for everything else. Okay, after we're done here, select both of them again and get the shape builder tool and hold out to get the minus sign and remove this part which is going out. And we have to create the other color. So get the pen tool again and create, let's create here, zoom in and create a big shape here and let's color it with this color here and now let's cut it this one and add a layer and control shift V to paste in place and place it in between because it's the in-between color and now you'll have this nice effect so select this one then shift this one and get the shape builder tool hold minus and remove this okay and we have this nice effect and now I think you should click on the back one and put the opacity back to 100 and we have this effect here first let's lock this unlock this and select everything and with eyedropper select this color here and now we have this and we can continue let's go to the in between color this one and add some more
And let's create a big rectangle and create a new layer, place it underneath everything and control shift V to paste in place and you will have this. So you can color it with this color, the black one, not the black but the very dark blue. Okay now let's place layer 1 on top of everything and click on it and go to window transparency and put the opacity something low so you can see the edges and we can color on top of it lock it and add a new layer and get the brush and put the brush on 0 0.05 okay get the brush and okay so now we created the lines Let's remove this layer now and let's create one more thing. Zoom in and add a new layer and let's create the trunk. So it comes from here. Okay, this looks better. Now let's go back to the layer of this chunks and copy them and paste it just on top and select both of them and get the shape builder tool and remove these and color this one with the darker color or maybe this one. zoom in and add some more let's add some more of the black or the dark blue zoom in and make sure you're on the layer this one here layer 2 which is responsible for this one this area so it would be behind this and in front of the trunks so get the this one here and draw this and do the same thing here have this and now let's go and create with this this layer uh, maybe create Okay, this is the final effect. So what I did here is I changed the colors. So I'm gonna show you all the colors I chose. This is 495B5E, 7EA6A8, second color. And the third color is 1B2526. So I added this colors instead of the previous colors. And you can see here, these lines are now expanded. So what I did here is, if you go to the brushes, you see it was 0 0.05 and this shape we created, which is this one. So what I did is, I just click, clicked on it and I put it on 0 0.1, it became larger. And I go to object, expand appearance, and now you can color it with the fill. So if you double click here, I'm gonna choose green, and that's how I just changed it. And I just clicked all of them and did the same. And I colored it with this color, which is again CC5200. And we have this nice effect. And also this one more thing here. This one I colored it with the background color. And that's it.